told you, don't you ever come around here. You're gonna go away, you're gonna disappear. You're gonna drink hot and you're gonna drink cold. Just brew it. Just brew it, brew it. Woo! Ah, uh, thank you, Glenn. Appreciate it. Well, we've got a big, big night for you guys. We got some coffee tasting. We all know that you love Cafe Bustella. I do like Cafe Do you Bustella. think it's going to stand up to the test this evening? Absolutely. Right, what well, other coffees do we have? I don't give a frappe what other coffees there are, bud. All I'm just ready Just brew it. Just brew it. You mean a latte to me. <laughs> a latte to me. God. How many more coffee puns can we do? A lot. So, <laughs> we got four coffees. We got Cafe Bustelo, we got Tim Hortons, we've got Starbucks, and we've got um, Duncan. Duncan. And all four These companies are publicly traded. Right. So, we are going to go into their analysis, see if there's some good potential behind these Absolutely. companies. Absolutely. And, well, again, Cafe Bustelo, that's just in the running because we all know that's your favorite. And we all want to find out if under a blind taste testing, if it will hold up to its name I and think, still be your favorite. I think that Stevie Wonder would know what Cafe Bustelo is. <laughs> Stevie Wonder? Stevie Wonder. God. All right. So we're going to taste them. We're going to tell you what we like, don't like about it. We're going to rate it, and we're going to try to guess what each one is. Hmm. And before we do that, yeah. if you do enjoy and you like these coffee mugs, just letting you know that we have merchandise. These are available on the website. The link is in the description below. Let's brew some coffee. Okay, we're gonna try our first coffee. We don't know where it is, what it is, so here we go. I'm excited, let's try it. Let's see what we got here. Kind of bitter. Yes, that was my- <laughs> That was other... bitter. I'm not, uh, I don't... What the frap is this? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, not to be mean or anything, but ooh, I don't know about this one. This is pretty bitter. I've never had Tim Hortons. I've never had Tim Hortons. I'm going to guess this is Tim Hortons. I think I'm going to go with Tim Hortons with this as well. But I'm going to rank this on a scale between 0 and 10 of a 4. You know what? I'm going to go with a 4 on this as well. Not, not too happy about it. Uh, neither am I. Now we're going to taste our second cup of coffee and see what we think about it. Now to stay grounded, let's just make sure we uh, cleanse our palate. How many more coffee puns do we have? All right, number two. Don't worry. Hopefully it's- Be frappy. <laughs> Glenn, I love you. You mean a latte to me. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. I like that. I like that. And I'm gonna guess Cafe Bustella. That's Cafe Bustella and I'm giving it an eight. I think that's Cafe Bustella. It is better than the first one. But is it as good as your go-to coffee? Ooh, it's close. He might have a, a new fave. I don't think this Cafe Bustello. Oh. I'm going to go with Starbucks on this one. Starbucks, okay. I'm going with Starbucks on this one. And what are you rating? I'm going to give this a seven. All right, Java Junkie, round three. Let's go. Oh, boy. This is totally different than the other two. This one tastes more coffee-ish. This has got some flavor to it. This is really good. I'm gonna- I'm going Duncan. I'm going Duncan on the third. I'm gonna give it a, a um, I'm gonna give it another seven. Yeah, I'm gonna go Duncan as well on that one. I'm going, I'm thinking that's Duncan, Duncan. And I'm thinking a seven. I mean, it's got good flavor, good body to it. It does have a much better body, less, it's very coffee-ish. Coffee? -ish. I, listen, it- <laughs> That's the, the other, technical term you're using the tonight? The first one was bitter, the second one was less bitter. This one is more coffee, so more coffee-ish, so we'll see. You ready for the fourth round? Let's do it. Let's go make it happen. No. This is bitterer than the first one. That's Starbucks. You think this is Starbucks? This I, might, I think you're right. I think this is Starbucks. I didn't get a Cafe Bustelo. That is not good coffee. If that's Starbucks, 
That is very, I that's could, more bitter than the first one. I could see why local right. coffee shops are Glenn's becoming going more back. popular. Listen, I'm breaking character right here. Number three is Cafe Bustello. And I'm going to give it a 10. So I changed from a seven to a ten. I changed from a seven to a ten because <laughs> I didn't pick a Cafe Bustelo, so I went back through. You're I'm, changing your mind? Yeah, that's my Cafe Bustelo. Uh so mm. okay. Fourth one, five. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I'm gonna give this one a five. I think four and one were the most bitter. All right, VV Nation, we just did the tasting. Let's go ahead and jump into the Vector Best 7 software and see what these stocks, see if there's any potential here. And you want to make sure you stay with us because we're going to actually do the reveal to see how we made out in guessing what these coffees were. Let's go. All right, Java junkies, we're in the Vector Best 7 software right now. You can see the stocks we've got here. We've got Starbucks, Keurig, QSR, which is Tim Hortons, and JM Smucker representing Cafe Bustella. Now, I'm going to let Glenn kick it off with some Starbucks analysis. So go ahead and, Glenn, let us, let us know what you think. First thing I see looking at the list of the stocks, VSTs. No VST above one. Doesn't America love coffee? Starbucks. We didn't like the coffee. It was way bitter. But <laughs> there are a couple of things about it. It is undervalued. It's got a good upside potential with relative value above one. It's not a safe stock, almost. And it's in a downtrend, giving it a sell recommendation. Not very, it's a little bit more volatile in the CI as well. With all of the companies uh, that we looked at, we had to brew them. So we brewed them in the Keurig. The Keurig company, a uh, little bit overvalued, not fundamentally sound, but it is mm -hmm. moving up. People need to brew the coffee. They don't always want to go to the stores. So that's a good way uh, that it is moving up, but it's a hold recommendation as well. One coffee that you don't see in this list happens to be Dunkin' Donuts, but it's a privately held company. So that's why it's not here, but we wanted to try it nonetheless. Brian, uh, Ryan, take up the other two. Yeah, uh, as far as Keurig, I'm thinking that's going to be my stock pick out of these four, just because RT is above one right now, so it's currently making us money. But as far as QSR, which is restaurant brands here, company is slightly overvalued. The only thing you know in its favor right now is that long-term price appreciation at 1.13. The Vector S7 system currently giving it a hold. Now, J.M. Smucker, that is the maker of Cafe Bustelle. It's Ooh. at the bottom of the list, slightly overvalued. It's actually fairly valued because we usually say within 10%. The company's moving up today, so that's a positive, sorry, a positive sign. But however, RVRS RT, it's all below one, so this might be too early of a stock to jump into right now. But a chart is worth a thousand words, so Glenn, let's say go ahead and jump into the charts and just see what these companies are trying to tell us. All right, so we're using the star search methodology to see if the company's price is in the fast lane. You see the fast, middle, and the slow lane. Starbucks sell recommendation, big gap down. Something tells me that that was her earnings play, and it was, mm -hmm. and it's a sell recommendation right now. I probably wouldn't touch it. I'm going to the next one, KDP. That's the one you did like. I do like that it's going back and forth into the fast lane, but in a channel, would love mm -hmm. to see it break out of that channel. Take a look at the next two for me, Ryan. Yeah, uh, so we got QSR. I mean, it's lower than it was three months ago. It's now in the slow lane here. The quicker moving DPO represented by that red graph at the bottom in negative territory. So as far as being bullish, no, but this might actually shape up to be a pretty good short candidate. I agree. And the last one. All right, JM Smucker, Cafe Bustelo. Again, lower than it was three months ago. Not much going on here, but we can see those Bollinger Bands starting to squeeze, showing that volatility really has been reduced. Me and Glenn were talking about this. Option strategies, great way to go, especially if you're the buyer right now because the premium is probably pretty cheap. Right. Uh, Glenn, what kind of strategy are you thinking with that? I'm thinking about an iron condor because the stock is moving sideways. You can make money even if it stays in that position right there. Not a bad play. Exactly. I love it. So that being said, now it's time for the big reveal. So let's get to it. So now we're going to do the reveal okay. for the first cup. Both of us, I guess, Tim Hortons, Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, man. I can see why they get a lot of hate on their coffee. Absolutely, because it was kind of poopy. The only reason I go to Starbucks is for the fancy coffee. I like, don't go. I don't go. So for number two, we have... Tim Hortons. Oh, man. I've never had Tim Hortons. I've never had Tim Hortons either, but honestly. We could taste it. It wasn't as bad as the first one. And it's right up 
I mean, it's one of my favorites. All right. So the third coffee was, dang it, boys and girls, was Cafe Bustello. But the when first. you did the blind tasting, I did the, the blind taste. That test. Tim Hortons came pretty close. It did, but I had to taste and taste and yeah. taste. I didn't pick a, a, a Cafe Bustello. I was like, listen, I had to go back through, and how about that? Do you think you'll try Tim Hortons in the future? Yes. I I, you know was... something? The two in the middle, two and three, actually were better than one and four. By we far. did give higher ranks on two and three. Cafe Bustello, man, I'm high five for me. Yes. All right. Number four, we've got Duncan. Duncan. I don't think anybody guessed Duncan for the um, fourth one, did we? Starbucks. We, we guessed both Starbucks. Guessed, wow. That's crazy. That so is crazy. The big coffee chains, Starbucks, Duncan. They got our lowest ratings. But everybody's paying so much money for that freaking coffee. Maybe it's the fancy drink. So just as a disclaimer, we try just regular right. black coffee. No, no sugar, no cream. No sugar. So this was really for the coffee lovers. We're Absolutely. Not, we're not talking about frappes and a bunch of sugar. We're talking about just coffee beans. I can't believe it. Well, I can't believe it. Duncan. It came out with Cafe Bustello. Joey was really going to try to make me fall flat on my face, but it didn't happen. <laughs> it, 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 I didn't get close. It you got, got real close. I didn't get close. Let us know what kind of coffee you guys Absolutely. like. Absolutely. You know, what, I mean, let's be honest, Keurig, that's kind of what everybody does today. What Keurig cups or K-cups are in your cabinet? I, I bet you, I bet you it's either Duncan or Starbucks. Starbucks. I bet you for the most part, but I want to know how many Tim Horton people out there. I don't know. But how many Cafe Bustello people out there? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Lift the roof. Raise the roof. Whoop. I mean, my highest rating went to Tim Hortons. I think I found me a new fave. I think that I would try that and drink that along with my Cafe Bustello, but Cafe Bustello is still tried and true. I think I'll take this home with me. Well, so with that, <laughs> folks, if you want a coffee cup, go to the store. There's plenty of coffee cups that you can take advantage of to drink your favorite coffee. Just brew it. Just brew it. Ooh! They told you, don't you drink this coffee round here. You're going to turn around. You're going to disappear. Don't matter what you drink. If you say it, you swear. Just brew it. Just brew it. Brew it. Who is back there brewing it? Woo! Show them how funky. Show them how funky. They didn't even drink the coffee yet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I might need some coffee to catch up. Just brew it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> coffee we'll be tasting this evening. Looks like we're going to do four coffees. So I don't gonna... give a frack <laughs> what kind of coffee we're tasting. <laughs>